There, that works out perfectly. So now this box will get filled with exactly 50 pipes and 10 pipe to grounds. So now I can uh, guts to connect the two red wire poles together. All right. And my first time dabbling with red wire stuff. There we go. All right, perfect. And we're getting fluid handling here. Uh, so let's uh, let's start making ourselves some oil. At the oil refinery, we've got some uh, got some little deposits over here. Again, this is this is not a long. This is this factory is going to exist for the duration of this uh, of this um, uh, of this one stream. So uh, um, yeah, this is kind of poor planning to put it over here. Tells you what is in the network. Okay. Uh, signals. All right, they're they're in the uh, they're in the pole. They're in the network. Yeah, I connected the pole to the pole here, um, so the two are connected. And here we go, fifty and ten. And if I grab these two, then this this starts all over again because now they're both less than. Okay, I'm starting to get I'm starting to get that. You can I've seen some really really fancy stuff going on here. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to be doing a lot of experiment down the way. All right, pump jacks, iron gear wheels, lots of electronic circuits, and pipe. And we are missing steel. We've got steel. Yes, we do. We've got steel. How about you? And we just need a third pump jack here. So we can tap into all three of these uh, closets. Ooh, 142% yield. Not bad. Yeah, these things take a while to, to make. But you don't make enough of them to really warrant uh, assembling. All right, we're all right. Hybrid line is still uh, still good. We're still, we're using it, but we're we're still we still got plenty of throughput on the hybrid line um, that we could uh, attach more stuff on here. Um, getting a little well, actually, yeah. This yeah, I forgot to put the buffer, but that's okay. We'll just have a ton of steel there. You probably need to be a fast inserter because you're not you're not popping steel down here fast enough and. The smart inserter up here is acting as a fast inserter, so. Well, good. Thank you, uh, Medzuri. I, uh, I I appreciate the uh, the vote vote of confidence. Um, I'm probably going to be starting up a strategy and tactics series for this game, probably when it hits uh, point uh, oh one two. Um, until then, I'm just going to be playing the heck out of it. Uh, probably maybe doing some more streaming, but my real thing is going to be uh, doing the streaming. Uh, once once I feel good enough to actually speak from some position of authority. I don't want to do a strategy and tactics when I myself am still learning. Uh, engines. We could do engines. Uh, or we could get into advanced materials, get into uh, electric furnaces. I'm still set up for the coal here, so we don't need to go crazy yet. Um, need that. Those require blues. Not good. Um, oh, this one will be good because we are we're 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 having inserters go from inventory to inventory. So, yeah, oh yeah, we're still waiting on that. And right, come on, bugs, what's up? You you sent a couple of people and you're giving up already? Come on, I want to fight here. Um, I don't want to just meander off the stream here. I want to. Uh, I want to uh, end end in a epic blaze of glory, um, or an epic victorious battle, one or the other. All right. Well, you are gonna go here. You here and you here. Oil's going. And let me think. In this process. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, fast inserter. That finally finished. I knew I was I was waiting for something and I'd forgotten what I was waiting for. <laughs> uh right then. Uh let me get some more medium poles. Because those are good and I've got the steel. Steel. Probably get some sort of box to accumulate all this steel in, but eh. 
All right, um, yeah, you're going over here. And then we'll just get a medium pull over here to uh, down there, maybe not. Hmm, you should be able to, uh, yeah, there you go. I'll just say, you can, uh, uh, yeah, and we got the uh, petroleum wells here, the storage tanks. Iron plates and steel, uh, iron, uh, iron plates and steel plates. You know what? Just because we can, I want to automate storage tanks because we're going to use a lot of them. Um, steel plates and steel, or iron plates and steel plates. Let's let's automate them. Let's automate them. Let's 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 do that. Um, now let me think of the best way to automate them. Um, ah, yes. Now I know. We're going to get a splitter here, and we need more copper. We are out of copper. Now we got plenty of copper to steal. We... I'm going to get a splitter, just a normal one. And we will split off... Um, now that's gonna kind of not work properly, ish maybe. No, actually, let's let's see if this works. No, that's not gonna that's not gonna do what I want it to do. Um, let's find a better place to split. Actually, we'll split it right here. No, that's because that's gonna include coal. I don't want coal. Well, uh, we can use this box as a as a quasi splitter, even though it's not gonna be a real splitter. Yes, I know this is probably a little sloppy, but we've got a we've got a, an accumulation chest here. We're going to use it. Hopefully, it doesn't randomly decide to grab the pistol. Um, all right, so let's get our constructor going here. Yeah, we just need one assembly machine. We don't need to go crazy with it. Actually, we don't need that many these. Let's. These. Put our uh, assembler right here. Mm. Now let me get this power pull out of the way. We'll replace this. Enter. All right, we. Oops. What I got? And oil processing that needs blue. Get sulfur. Um, armor crafting. Ooh, not a bad idea. Let's research that. Just in case. All right. Um, let's get ourselves a long and a normal. The long can reach. I think it can reach up here. Hope it can reach. Ah, that's in the way. Oop. Well, no, we can we can fix this. We can fix this. Oop, hey, we got uh, we got a battle. Let's see how many uh well they certainly held up. Where's the corpse? Oh they killed it before they killed it way down there. Four kills, four kills. Oh, that was more than I realized, but yeah. I think that little choke point's gonna do us well. So let's bring on the pollution. Five red to six green. Ah. Need more green. Five red to six. Got it. So I probably need another green here. Um. Well, I'll add one of those as soon as I get this um this this thing here. Yeah, I'm still I'm still. Uh, yeah, that choke point for the win. That that uh, couple more turrets there, and that thing could hold off. Uh, that thing, that thing, will be able to hold them off forever. So yeah, I've, <laughs> despite me poo pooing, uh, um, um, uh, walls, saying that I don't really use them. Here's a case where walls are very useful. Uh, right then, uh, distractions, no distractions. All right, so you. You pull the steel from up there, you pull iron from down here, and then our uh, 
Well, yeah, we'll we'll fix that. Little uh Need a medium pole? Yeah, medium pole will serve our Oh yeah, we gotta tell you to actually make these things. Yes! Works! Haha! Um I think I'm just gonna rather than doing a smart inserter. Actually here, while I'm here. Alright, good. As long as these two are balanced, that's fine. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a wooden chest. Stay down here. Fills a normal inserter. And just have you limit it to a stack size of one. So I don't foresee us needing that many. Uh... Now these things need, how much do these things need? 20 iron plates and 5 steel. So we're going to need uh, to keep production on this. Uh, at a viable rate. We're gonna need, actually we're gonna need two in fast inserters. One to uh, extract, one to deposit. We're making enough steel that uh, not a problem. Don't recommend storage tanks for anything other than lube. Really? Cake buffers. Well, you know what? I I uh, I can understand that. I'm 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 gonna use some buffers just because they're comforting at the moment. Because like think of, like like you like I figure we get all these these all these oil lines merged together, and then I make a whole butt ton of uh, of storage tanks here, uh, and then you know do a refinery. And then maybe storage thing. And that way I can take stock on what I'm doing. Now I'm you I can understand because you probably have all the ratios memorized. Um so but yeah, I'm gonna use this as my crutch for the moment. Um but it will not forever be my crutch. I will I pledge to wean myself from buffers uh whenever possible. For now we're just going to, because, especially since I have these being mass produced, I'm just going to use a butt ton of these things. We're, we're going to look like a oil oil sands uh, field here. Now here's a ratio question for you. Um, what is the pump jack to oil refinery thing? Like how many oil refineries do I need to actually use all this crude that I'm pulling up? Uh, now granted, the, I know these are variable. This one's a 0.9, this is a 1.0, and that's a 1.4. I know those go down over time. Yes, I do know you can rotate the tanks after placement. Oh, actually, yeah, which is probably something I need to do. There we go. You full? Oh no, we're not. Uh, we're not getting enough steel down here. Eh. We need one more fast and actually no. What we, what we need is we need a uh, we need a steel furnace to uh, make that that right there at the bottom to make that steel faster. That should uh, that should give us what we need. Seven to one after research. Seven pump jacks to one refinery. Got it. All right. So one. So essentially one should. Uh, one should suit my needs. Needs two oil a second. Got it. And so that's 1.4. That's new. So this is more than what our refinery can handle, but I don't see us needing to use that much. Yet. Hey, come on, you bugs. Come after me. I'm trying to stink up the joint a little bit more aggressively here so that you can come after me and we can test out our defenses more and better. Um, yeah, these sit for forever. Have it. They also take up a butt ton of space. Um. Well, actually, yeah, if we. Well, no, no, I don't like that. I don't like it. 
No, sir, I don't like it. Let's do it up here. As like five refineries. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm just, I'm dabbling here. This is, again, this is not a long-term factory. This factory will cease to exist after this stream. Actually, what I'll probably do is I'll hand it off to Root Negative to do one of his uh, uh, reviews uh, videos on. Because uh, he had expressed um, a desire to do that to one of my factories. Um, oh yeah, let me pick up more of the uh, pipes here. Do you need to use both of these ports, or uh, will they do that on their own? I have a feeling they'll do it on their own, but... Juice over here. All right, and let's uh, let's spread things out a bit with all these uh, pipe to grab. Uh, we'll do uh, we'll do we'll do uh, heavy oil over here. The storage, tank. and then for these we're gonna do pipe to grounds to really spread them out. Light gonna go up like there. One of them for advance, the other for water. Okay, yeah, we don't have the advanced flavor yet. And then you are gonna go way the heck up. No, petrol is the one that really gets funky. Well, I wouldn't say funky, but high demand. Uh, so let's get ourselves um, storage tanks here and up here just so that we're accumulating while I'm figuring all this out um oh wait, we never started new research poop get some plastics because I know that's really useful and look at this we can I know uh, plastics requires petroleum but it also requires coal and we got petroleum right next to coal plastic right here huzzah oh now we're being attacked the turrets have engaged the enemy. I want to. I just want to see, even though we couldn't see it, I just want to see the body count. Oh, just two. Come on, come on, guys. I've had maps where, like, I set down my initial coal extractors and, like, six of them swarm me. And I'm pumping all this out and they only send two. All right, uh, so this thing is... Slowly filling up. Yes, slowly filling up. Um, you know what? We could use another oil refinery because we're making slightly more than. Uh, than. Away, you stupid rock. I. I'll make a second oil refinery. Just so we have extras here might be a little bit excessive and I can remove it but that way because since we have all this crude built up and we have a little bit more throughput which actually reminds me let's uh we're gonna if we're gonna double up on that. That needs to be moved back. And that needs to be moved one. So we need to throw a regular pipe in here and here. That way they have connection points. Might be a bad idea. Okay, then I will hold off. I'll just keep it in my inventory. Hey, mm, thank you for the advice. Okay, uh, so we are, we're just waiting for something useful to do with these uh, with those oil products. Uh, we are going to get it soon. What is, why aren't you making me... What's, what's the hold up? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, let's check my production tab. So we are consuming iron at, and, and, and producing it at a... Every five seconds, 14 every five. Let's switch that to minutes here. All right, so we're keeping up with production. Our iron use is actually going down because I think we've filled up all our backlog. 
Uh, copper coil. Is that uh, is that what I'm? No, no, that's the uh, iron. That's the iron ore. I think we're yeah we're we're the belts are all backed up, and so are these belts. So we're good on iron. Uh, so actually here let's let's get that third uh, third uh, green science building going for us, as per your suggestion. All right, um, actually, here's what we'll do. Put you down here like this. We will get you down here like this. And then get ourselves inserter. Just a regular one should do. Except for red circuits, got it. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I have not reached the end game yet. I've. Not, I've. I've come. I've reached the point where I'm getting ready to make robots, uh, but I've not actually made the robots themselves. Um, so that's about as far as I've gotten in the game here, and I'm just trying to get really good, solid fundamentals. Um, before I progress too further into the end game. Medium pull for that. No. Green science. And, oh yeah, you need a way to get and export that. Oop. Boy, that was quick. You guys aren't letting me have any fun here. How many kills are you guys up to, anyway? One kill here, five kills, seven kills. Yes, the modular factories. Yeah, I've I've seen some of the craziness you can do with blueprints. I am super excited to get into blueprint uh, stuff because actually the way what what I do on if you've seen some of my other series on my YouTube channel, modular design is my thing. Like that, like I love modular design. And my Skylines video, I came up with this modular city design called the uh, Weeping Willow Zone. And I've been copying it pretty much everywhere, all across the entire city, and it's been working great for me. Uh, so just the concept of a modular design as, as a core game mechanic really, really appeals to me. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's definitely going to be something I... Um, it, it, uh, it's a little bit further into the series. I don't come up with the Weeping Willow um, in the first plot. I think it's towards the end of the first plot, maybe somewhere an episode somewhere in the teens uh, that I come up with the uh, Weeping Willow. And then, or if you look at my later city, you can see sort of the modular design applied across the map. Obviously modified for the terrain, but yeah, modular design is really kind of what interests me the most in the end game. Of course, also the logistics, don't get me wrong. Getting up uh, and more efficient. I know this is a tangled mess of, um, and probably not the most efficient. I'm sure Root Negative will tear it apart. And I hope he does, because I want to see precisely what I did well and what I really, really did poorly. Uh, so I think I'm going to be saving this and sending it to him. Um, let me check the time here, because I think I'm running a bit long. Yep. All right, guys, I'm going to have to uh, pack it in here. Sorry I didn't get a chance to do anything fancy with the oil. Um, but I uh, thank you all for joining me. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Medzuri, uh, for joining me. Uh, he is indeed uh, one of the uh, uh, veterans of the community uh, and uh, does a lot of his good stuff there. Um, so, yeah, uh, thank you all for checking this out. And you'll probably be seeing this factory again. Uh, check out Root Negative's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, just search uh, Root Negative on YouTube. Um, and he probably, um, 
you might be able to give better advice than Root. Um, I, I'll take it. But I know Root wants to make his videos. Um, so, you know, it might be something, uh, something, uh, something to do. I can send it to both of you if you want. Uh, but either way, this will be the end of this particular stream because I need to get up early in the morning tomorrow. So uh, thank you all once again for joining me. Um, so this has been uh, Factorio. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, the uh, If you missed part of this, um, it will uh, go up on my YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash C slash Pinstar. Um, so that you might, uh, if you want to leave some critique or see uh, parts that you may have missed, that's where you can find them. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!